God has not brought you this far to let you die at the threshold. Listen to me. You are one step away. Can I tell somebody on today and say you're just one step away from getting the biggest breakthrough of walking through that door. You are one step away from walking into your new season. You are one step away my good God, from coming into a prosperous place where it is you won't ask nobody for nothing no more. You ain't gonna need them folk for nothing no more. That you, God is putting you in a place that you are one step away from being the biggest success your family's ever heard of. You, you are one step away from being in a position where you can help people that hate you. You are in, in one step you are in a better place. You are in the best position where it is your next step it's gonna be your best step. You are in a place where it is God is propelling you to know, to believe, to subject yourself to the future reality that it is you are one step. You're one step away. Going to church and I'm praying, I am trying to find what it is that God I've missed along the way. And it is to an extent at some point in time you come to a point in your life where it is you want to really give up. Where you are Telling God, asking God, pleading with God. God, nobody, nobody should be this broke. Nobody should be this broken. No, nobody should be this stressed out. No, nobody should be this struggling this way. That is the last night that is I look at other people in a way that they have what I've been praying for. This is the last night that they're going to work me like this with no raise. They're going to they gonna treat me this way with no accountability. This, this is the last night that the kids behave the way that they are. Is that the new season is coming after tonight would break. I know this ain't for if everybody, but can two people, three people, four people in the room on tonight, my God, I think I'll just preach to myself. Come here, come here, come Come here, Jeremiah. Yes, sir. It's that I need to tell you that you need to hold your head up for a minute and tell yourself on tonight that it is this is the last night that I'd be this stressed out. This is the last night that I'd be subjected to trying to find how to put two, three dollars together. This is the last night I doubt myself in the calling. This is the last the night that this is the last night that you are at this level of adversity. This is the last night you are subjected to this amount of attack. This is the last night that it is you are unfulfilled in your purpose. This is the last night you are not determined in your assignment for your destiny. This is the last night you are distracted from being on way to your uh, assignment of where you're designed to be. This is the last day that it is you let somebody else determine the life of God that you live. This is the last night that I am focused in sight of somebody else while don't have eyes for my own vision this is the last night that you would be subjected to being this broke this broken and this stressed out this is the last night I, I just came to prophesy to somebody in a room on tonight I project positivity over your life and your new season to be that on tonight this is the last night that we will be in a place where it is I don't know where it's gonna come from I don't know how it's gonna happen I don't know when it's gonna come through but my God God on tonight, I push you into a place where it is you can believe God again, where you can hope God again, where you can have faith in him to know all things are going to work together for my good, not in a year, but I prophesy it's going to happen over your life on tonight that it is God is pushing you into a place where you can speak destiny over your own life. For too long have you been in a place where it is where you uh, can only project positivity over somebody else, but oftentimes it is that you have to re receive that word onto yourself by speaking it to yourself is that it don't matter what they look like it don't matter what it says it don't matter what it would seem like it don't matter what they would say I'm telling you on today that it is if you can believe it and form it in your mind and speak it out of your mouth in the name of the living God in the name of his only son in the name through the power of the Holy Ghost he said I'll do that for you on tonight is that we came to serve eviction on the enemy to let him know in this house you have no power I came to serve eviction all across Facebook all across Instagram all across YouTube and Twitch on tonight to let somebody know that it is God is still in your side he stands at the door and knock will you open
open of the door on tonight and let him in. He says, if you would let me in on tonight, I'm serving eviction notice on every friend that would come and pretend to be praying for you and yet be praying against you. We just evict that spirit even right now. We come to serve eviction on everybody that will be talking about you but laughing in your face on the job. We came to serve eviction notice on anybody who would be playing you or undermining you. I bind the attack of the enemy over your life that it is that they would want to push you into a bad position but God said it's going to be a testimony had position that I had been fooled but my God now I'm in a place where it is I can believe uh, God for the walk that I am living right now is that no longer will I be subjected to a lifestyle where it is that I am broke and broken but God says I'm moving you to a place where it is that you Oh my God, that you you can be blessed to be a blessing. Is that he is going to rain down something in this season over your life that is going to be so big that I'm blessing folks that don't even like me. I am uh, in the life, I am pushing positivity into folk who wanted me dead. I am speaking uh, positive things over folk who ain't got nothing but negative gossip to spread about me. God is pushing you to a place where it is your story begins to change.